Hello and welcome to section 5. In this section, we will learn how to set up our Apache Storm single node cluster. So in this section, we are going to look about Storm daemons, available Storm daemons. We'll be talking about uh, how to set up Zookeeper in standalone mode. Uh, we'll be also discussing about how to uh, uh, set up Apache Storm in single node. We'll be also running our square topology setup and also we'll be exploring our Storm UI. So let's start with the first video. So in this video, we'll go ahead and we'll understand how a typical storm cluster looks like. And uh, we'll talk about storm nimbus daemon and storm supervisor daemon. Uh, please note, we'll be just talking in brief. Uh, I'll be not going in a complete detail about all these services for now. So this is how a typical storm cluster looks like. So basically, uh, this is just a de uh, pictorial depiction of a three node cluster where uh, in the first node, I am running Nimbus and in the remaining two nodes, I am running Supervisor. Uh, so when we ideally talk about a typical Storm cluster, your Nimbus is the master node in the Storm cluster. So basically Nimbus is the one actually who coordinates with your uh, Supervisor or the worker nodes. And Nimbus is the one who assigns the task to the worker nodes and also monitors the failures. And he's the one actually who accepts the topology and submits the topology in the cluster. The next service that is need to be observed here is the supervisor. So supervisor are the followers of the Nimbus. So whatever Nimbus instructs in terms of worker, Nimbus instructs to the supervisor. Supervisor spins up the workers based on the amount of execution to be done. And each worker performs the respective task. So supervisor is the one who actually, uh, you know, governs the worker process and uh, also ensures that the worker process completes the task assigned by the Nimbus. There is one more thing that you need to understand about the workers is workers does not uh, run the task by itself. Instead, workers internally creates executors and ask the executors to perform a particular task. So uh, there is something called task, of course, that you need to understand. Remember, task is nothing uh, but a thread and uh, that's been executed by the executor and the executor is managed by the worker and the worker is managed by the supervisor and finally the supervisor is managed by the Nimbus. So this was just a guest introduction, okay? Of course, uh, I would uh, highly recommend you all to go through the documentation for the theoretical side. Of course, this course is more about looking on the hands-on part. That's why we are not focusing more on the theory layer. One more thing in our current setup, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a setup something like this. Uh, in a single node, we'll be installing three services. That's Zookeeper, Nimbus, and Supervisor. So one thing that we haven't discussed in the earlier section was about Zookeeper. Let me tell you, Zookeeper is a service. It's a very independent service. We need to install Zookeeper separately. And Zookeeper is the service that is used to coordinate between the services, between the Nimbus and the supervisor. So remember, Nimbus is purely stateless protocol, so uh, stateless service. So uh, it actually depends on Zookeeper to monitor the working node status. And it also, and Zookeeper also helps the supervisor to interact with the Nimbus. And it is also responsible to maintain the state of Nimbus as well as the supervisor. So in our setup, we will see how to set up our Zookeeper and then during the Storm setup, we will set up our Nimbus as well as the Supervisor. Remember, in this scenario, one node will have all the three services live and active. 